Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Happy New Year, and I hope everybody's 2021 was going to be a great year. After last year, everybody deserves a great year. But, today we have a winter storm and even an ice event for majority of the northeast and the middle part of the country. And here in this dark purple color is an ice storm warning, where there's going to be a couple probabilities of power outages and possibly even slick roads due to the heavy amount of ice that is coming. In this lighter shade of purple is winter weather advisories that stretch from all the way from Iowa all the way back up into the northeast. And in this pink area is winter storm warnings where you could exceed 6 inches of snow. Back by Arkansas, Iowa, and Illinois all the way back up into Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. If we take a look at the radar right now, what is happening at 5.47 p.m., you can see anywhere in this pink is pretty much a mixed bag of precipitation anywhere from sleet, freezing rain, and even again ice all the way down to possibly even rain. Now we have on a more frontal boundary here you have snow that could be even mixed precipitation the closer you get here due to the radar not picking it up as well but you still have pretty heavy bands right up in here by Syracuse just about to get into Utica and making its way into Albany. Now if you take a look at this back into the coastal parts of Connecticut you can see that it's just about ready to change with rain it's around 36, 34 degrees, but so far this storm has been being a little bit colder than expected. Now keep this in mind for the Sunday storm. This could be something to keep in mind, in my opinion. Now if you go back into the middle part of the country, Michigan, you are still heavily snowing in the northern part of Michigan. But if you get your way down into the southern and central part of Michigan, you are having a mixed bag of precipitation anywhere from snow all the way down to freezing rain and sleet here. Even into parts of Canada and into, again, parts of Buffalo. If we take a close look into Iowa and Illinois, it's the snow is starting to wrap up, but as the cold air is starting to be drawn back down due to the counterclockwise as a system, it's bringing down more cold air. You can see Chicago's back in the snow, even though it was having a mixed bag of precipitation before. And back up by Milwaukee and northern Illinois, it is starting to have heavily snow due to the quick transition. And you could quick pick up an inch or two, maybe more, depending how heavy the bands get. And if we take an outer expansion look, you can see that the rain is being drawn up. And the precipitation is being drawn up from the south, all the way up from the gulf. When you have a low pressure system right here, just by Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky, and all the moisture is being drawn up off the ocean here. Once again, you have your high pressure all the way up here by just sitting almost north of Maine right here. You can tell by the counterclockwise spin right here, and then you can see it starts to circulate around, and then over here it goes back up. Now, with this high pressure here, you have the cold air happening to come down and leak down from Canada. If this high pressure were to stay, this snow would probably stay all snow just by Albany, but the high pressure system is going to evacuate here, and you'll see that in a moment. Right now we have the HRRR up model up. You can see the high pressure starts to evacuate, and it, for some reason it already has the high pressure system already off the coast of Maine, but I do think it's still up here. Now, still, the HRRR does show the high pressure moving out of here, which leads the warm air to come up into the northeast. But besides the most northern parts of New York and Maine and New Hampshire, Vermont, you will stay all snow in that area. But otherwise, you will most likely change over the rain in other areas. By 7 p.m. tonight, you can see that the snow starts to expand more into the northeast as more places change from snow and mixed precipitation terrain along the coast. And on the back side, again, it starts to change back to snow. And back by 11 p.m., it is snowing pretty heavily in parts of the northeast. You still have that rain and snow line just south of Boston. But as you get closer to the coast, it goes more north. So Boston is pretty much almost all rain at this point. But you still have mixed precipitation into central New York and parts of northern PA. And as the storm makes its way toward the east, you have, once again, Rain changed into snow, possibly even to heavy snow in parts of Illinois, Michigan, Indiana, and Wisconsin here. As you continue, you can see the warm air starts to win over as the storm starts to make its way into central New York. 
Boston is definitely all rain, and parts of Buffalo and Rochester and Syracuse are all rain as well. And the rain and snow line is very north of where you would want it to be if you want snow in central New York. And as we finish off here, you can see as a low pressure system sits in northern New York, it transfers its energy off to the coast and starts to go under some intensification, causing Maine at large to get more heavier bands in snow. Northern New Hampshire and Vermont change over the snow if they were rain at times, and then all of Vermont and New Hampshire change over the snow as well. This is the HRRR snow total from, let's say, 5, 6 p.m. to now. Well, excuse me, 5 p.m. until 10 a.m. Tomorrow, you can see that it does put down a couple more inches back over here, back by Illinois, Iowa, and parts of Michigan and when, uh, Wisconsin, due to the heavy banding and a quick changeover, at most you could see four, maybe, maybe five inches, depending how heavy it comes down. You don't have that long of a period. Now, once you get north of Albany and Boston here, this is where your jackpot of snow is going to be. Anywhere that could stretch from four to maybe five inches of snow. This isn't completely done in Maine, so you probably have another couple inches to go, but... In northern New Hampshire and Vermont, you could be looking at maybe 3 to possibly 8 inches of snow, depending how heavy it comes down. If we take a look at the NAM right now, you can see it does show the high pressure once again off of Maine. It quickly transfers the high pressure from north of Maine into the ocean, and it quickly evacuates. And then it pretty much straddles just south of Nova Scotia. That's not where you want it to be. To drain cold air down into the northeast, but you and once again, you do have rain changing to snow on the back side of the system by Michigan all the way into Illinois, and then it's pretty much the same thing as the HRRR, but it is warmer for parts of northern New York and Vermont here. But then again, it does change it back to snow eventually, and once again, it transfers its energy off into the southern parts of Maine, and then it gets out of the Gulf of Maine. Now, after this system, we have another system that is going to come up and affect the northeast, which could drop even more snow. Now, on the latest runs, it looks like has been it's been wanting to start out a little bit colder, causing maybe a few flakes down in New York City, and then all the way back down just north of Maryland, pretty much. Now, when I said keep this in mind that the storm has been starting off colder, maybe since the storm has been starting out colder, the models have been underestimating the cold air. So if that's true, maybe the rain and snow line starts off here. Maybe Long Island starts out of snow. Maybe, possibly, Washington starts out of snow. But that's a little bit far-fetched. But still, it's something to keep in mind. Maybe the models are underestimating the cold air. After all, this high pressure isn't off the coast of Maine. It's actually up just north of Maine here. So it does drag down a little bit of cold air, and maybe the models are underestimating the cold air once again, or possibly even overestimating the cold air. But no matter what, the coast does transition over to rain, but maybe on the backside the coast could once again go back to snow. Depending how tight the low pressure system gets, it could drag down more cold air, but then again, we don't really have much cold air. If we did have cold air during the system, we could have looked at a major snowstorm event from parts of Boston all the way down into Washington and Long Island and New York City and even into possibly Philadelphia. But that's pretty much it from the NAM and it does try to bomb out the system just off the coast of Nantucket and once again the Gulf in the ocean and Gulf of Maine you could have pretty heavy snowfall here in parts of Maine, New Hampshire, even into parts of the Boston Metro depending how cold it gets. Now, if we look at the total snowfall here, if you rewind this a bit, this is the total snowfall from the NAM that predict from the the storm that's happening today, which is New Year's Day. It could, I think, it really does overestimate the snowfall. It already has overestimated snowfall in parts of Pennsylvania and parts of Michigan, so I would subtract that and give you a maybe an inch or two at most. But as you can see, once the storm comes in, it drops a a decent amount of snowfall, especially here. If you rewind, you only have around 5-6 inches right there. And as this storm comes in, your totals have increased to like 24 inches. So, if you 
calculate the math, that's 18, 20 inches from this storm. Once again, I really do think the NAM is overestimating this storm once again, like it always does. But it is something to keep in mind. The snow line is just over New York City, and on the backside, it does look like eastern part of Long Island could go over the snow. This is my snowfall map for the New Year's Day storm. I'm just doing the northeast because it is just about done in parts of the Michigan, Wisconsin, and Illinois. At most, you could see maybe another 2 to 3 inches, maybe 5 if you get lucky. But I'm just going to do the northeast here. Anywhere in this area where the pink color is, this is a coating to an inch of snow, plus a major ice threat. This is where your freezing rain will most likely stay for multiple hours where you can really start to rack up on the ice. And if you go north, it's going to be a coating to an inch again, but that ice threat isn't as large as it is in Pennsylvania and southern New York. And as you go more and more north, the totals go up just by Rochester and Albany and just north of Massachusetts. You are looking at 1 to 3. This dark blue from northern New York and Vermont and Maine is 3 to 5. And where this 5 to 8 range is, is where you're most likely going to be all snow. And that's from northern Maine, northern New Hampshire, northern Vermont, and northern New York. Now, this is your system for Sunday going into Monday, where you have a possible nor'easter forming and could drop a couple inches of snow in parts of the area. This is all rain in this green that stretches from the easternmost points of Massachusetts, Rhode Island, possibly even parts of Connecticut, easternmost parts of Long Island, and all the way down into the coast of New Jersey and Delaware. Now, in this pink, this is a possibility where you could start out as snow and then go through rain, and possibly even end as snow. That stretches just in parts of maybe Washington, Philadelphia, New York, and even into uh, Boston itself. Now, this is definitely not definite. This was most likely changed. And then, once again, this high pressure does move out, but it does stay a little bit longer than the winter storm that we're having right now. Now, in this blue area that stretches all the way back from Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, you're most likely staying all snow. But the exception of the coast of Maine, which I am starting to think where you could change over as the storm makes its way into the Gulf and starts to intensify, drawing some warmer air into parts of Maine, which could change it over. But as of now, I'm just going to leave you as all snow, depending on the track. Let's say it tracks a little bit more closer to Maine and drags in more snow, uh, warmer air, which could cause a change over terrain, maybe even possibly all rain for parts of coastal Maine, but I am going to leave it as this track that I have it right now due to the track of the high pressure. I hope you all have a great holiday and enjoy yourself and your family because this is a great year to get to know each other. Have a great day guys.